Hey everyone, welcome to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But now let's get right into today's topic, which is regarding VeChain. You guys already know, so we're going to get right into that. Looking across the board, once again, a lot of bloodbath coming into the markets. Obviously, Bitcoin is seeing a continuation downwards trend. If you did watch my emergency video, but today we are going to be focusing more on VeChain. What's happening? And what are some next price targets we could be looking at as we are going into the month of March? And I'm going to share some very positive with you guys obviously we do need to keep the factor of bitcoin in mind as always but um, if you are a vchain holder do stick around and watch this video till the absolute end so looking at the price of vchain right now first of all looking at the rank it is currently ranked at the top 34 spot which is definitely a positive thing to take away from this uh, but the price is currently sitting at 0.027 cents down four percent in the last 24 hours in usd comparative also down about 2.6% in BTC comparative over the last 24 hours. I know what you're thinking right now. Oh my God, VeChain is down once again another 4%. But remember, look across the board. Everything is down right now. Majority of the market, 95% of the market is down right now because of the overall BTC momentum. But as I say that, remember, the year of 2023 has started on such a positive note. And if we do see from the yearly, uh, you know, at the beginning of the year, if you've picked any altcoin, you're still up quite a bit right now. So let that that sink in before we do make any sort of judgments or any fud across the board looking at the market cap market cap is below two billion dollars but currently you can round it up to two billion dollars and the 24 hour trading volume is currently sitting at 61.7 million dollars for v chain but now let's get right into the exciting stuff and see what's happening with the price and where could the price be going in the immediate short term so we are once again sitting at the most critical price level for the price of VeChain. But as always, just a quick disclaimer for any, anyone that anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. So you guys can see, once again, we are literally sitting at the exact same spot where we were uh, prior to the past two days. We are sitting at a massive level of resistance right now for the price of VeChain. And this has been holding really, really strongly as I've been saying on my channel for the longest time that this was a massive level of resistance to break for us. But now, you know, that is playing as a level of support, which, you know, you're supposed to think that is going to play as a level of support once it turns uh, into, uh, once you break out of resistance. So currently it is playing as a level of support, which is definitely a positive thing to uh, point out for you guys. But now comes the question, are we about to see VeChain break below this? That's what I'm going to share with you guys. Let's look at the price of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is really, uh, you know, shaking a lot of people right now. Especially if you're new in the markets, this might be a scary time for you, as I've mentioned to you guys. But obviously, if you're an OG crypto uh, holder, you're immune to these kind of moves. This is what cryptocurrency is all about. Unregulated markets, a lot of manipulation can occur. So this is where you need to kind of educate yourself and obviously as i always say have and strategy in play where you lock in profits where you lock in profits if you don't have that i've said this before and i will say it again you will lose money no matter what obviously in a for a long haul you don't really care about the short-term gains here and there then holding your bags is the number one key to follow and um, you know looking at the price of bitcoin bitcoin is currently seeing more downwards pressure coming in for its side and as you guys know on my channel we do need to see the price of bitcoin hold the 22k mark so far bitcoin is still looking good in terms of the upwards trend but overall the weakness we're starting to see slowly but surely we did see a massive manipulation across the board over the weekend we did see this wick all the way up to 22 um, i'm sorry twenty four thousand dollars and that was clearly a manipulation uh, from the whales which is to be expected on the weekends because CME futures are closed uh, but as of now we're above $22,000 mark we're still in an upwards trend but we do need to keep Bitcoin you know like monitoring the Bitcoin price very very closely but as far as V chain is concerned okay so let's say Bitcoin were to go down to $22,000 now let's talk about that which again right now it's not out of the woods yet remember two months of green back to back didn't really necessarily see any sort of cool off happen within the market sure we did a little bit but market continuously saw upside back to back but now if we lose this support guys if we lose this support strong likelihood that v chain can once again test 
that 2.1 cents mark to 2 cents mark. Yes, you've heard that correct. We have a lot of support built up around there and that could definitely be in play if the price of Bitcoin were to fall towards the downside. Obviously, if Bitcoin were to go towards the upside, start retesting yearly highs, great. As I've mentioned to you guys, Bitcoin needs to break $25,200 level of resistance and I can personally see this run going into summer of this year before we do see some sort of cool off happen but if we were to go down to 22k mark or even below we could see more downfall for vchain but as i say that there's some very positive news coming out from china in regards to cryptocurrencies so they are unbanning cryptocurrencies in this summer i believe and that is going to be a massive catalyst for coins that are based out of asia and china and obviously, we know the connections of VeChain and China. You guys can put that into perspective, how positive that is going to play for this. Remember, there's a lot of money that's on the sidelines right now that has not entered from that market yet. You might be saying, oh, people have ways to get into the market, blah, 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 which absolutely is true. But there's a lot of other play people that are not sophisticated when it comes to that, that is still on the sidelines. And on top of that, what have I said from the beginning? You know, forget about the price. Let's look at VeChain as a product itself. Are they innovating? Is the team innovating? Are they developing? Or are they like stuck where they were at the previous bull cycle? Absolutely not. If you look at the technology and the overall, um, you know, team's innovation compared to the previous bull cycle to now, it is drastically changed. The best part is the marketing, which I've said in the previous bull cycle, needs to be ramped up. And fast forward a year and a half to two years, we're seeing the marketing ramp up for VeChain. It has everything it has for itself to succeed in this next bull cycle, but obviously patience is going to be needed. If you picked up some VeChain at the beginning of the year, um, you know, at at the beginning of the year at uh, 1.6 cents mark, you could have seen 100% gain um, at the yearly highs for this year. And uh, I've said this again, and I'll say it again. I personally, again, this is my own personal opinion, I do believe that VeChain is going to shock a lot of people this bull cycle. No one saw it go to 25 cents last year. I mean, last bull cycle. No one did. And you guys know on my channel, I've been covering VeChain before it was even a penny. And no one saw that happening. When I was making those kind of predictions back then, no one saw that coming. But look where it has come. And not only that, it has held its position very, very strongly in the top 50th uh, cryptocurrency market ranks. And also on top of that, you know, the partnerships that it's gaining, bringing mass adoption to the crypto space. And, um, you know, having VeChain, if you are a part of uh, the VeChain community, having your holdings is very important. Obviously, diversify your portfolio, but having a minimum of 10,000 VeChain is very important, in my personal opinion. Now, you may be saying if VeChain were, again, this is all speculation at the end of the day. You know, if we're talking, obviously, the next bull cycle, if we keep that in mind uh, from historic bull runs i do personally see v chain hitting a dollar per coin this next coming bull cycle but that does not mean um that you know we can't go higher or it's going to be 60 70 cents this is where exit strategy comes into play so but now you may be saying ten thousand coins how much is ten thousand coins right now currently uh priced at it's not as much as it would be if the price were to be at 60 uh cents uh or 70 cents dollar that's where you need to uh, kind of strategize your exit strategy and play Ten thousand coins might not be a lot for people that are already wealthy um you know ten uh, ten thousand coins might be little money but there's a lot of people in third world countries that don't have that much money and having ten thousand coins could be life-changing if you strategize your exit strategy properly you could literally make insane gains but as I say that, exit strategy needs to be in play. As I say that, you know, people say well, you need at least 100,000 VeChain coins. Absolutely not. You don't need 100,000 VeChain coins. Not everyone can afford that. Um, it just depends on your personal needs and how you are financially in terms of, um, you know, are you capable of investing that much money um, that you can afford to lose? Some people can't. Even 10,000 coins of VeChain is a lot. Gain is a gain at the end of the day. And if you strategize it properly, you can make massive gains in the bull cycle. But obviously pick good projects and diversify because there's some projects that do good, um, you know, while others have pumped up uh, and kind of cool off. And while others are kind of 
trading sideways, the others pump. So it depends on uh, you know the project that you have but like I said diversification is a very much needed in the markets but that is it for today's update like I said very critical um, you know things to look out for for the price of V chain right now hopefully we hold around this and Bitcoin work to start heading back towards yearly highs but if anything were to change you guys know I will keep you guys updated thank you so much for all the support see you guys tomorrow in crypto ZX and peace out